All right, what is going on everybody? Welcome to another video. Today, I have the Morgan three-wheeler ready for action on Forza Horizon 3. So this is part of the new DLC that just dropped for Forza Horizon 3, which is the Logitech G car pack. Let's go ahead and check out this beast that we have here. Can we actually turn this into a drift car? <laughs> yes, that is the question. Let's give this a shot. Why do I sound like this? I don't know. Um, Let's go ahead and actually upgrade this thing, see what we can do to it first of all. We can engine swap this thing, I'm guessing to the, yeah, inline 4 motorbike engine. We're going from 82 horsepower to 196 or 196 horsepower. Alright, we're doing it. And we can turbo this. We can turbo the bike engine to 234. <laughs> oh my god. Oh wow, that little lip at the front. Whoa. That's gonna create so much downforce. And then same with the rear. Oh my god. Abs absolutely not. Alright, let's move on. Wheels. Okay. Wait, do we actually get a choice of changing the wheels? Can we actually change the wheels? That'd be so funny. Oh my god. What the hell? It. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> we can put normal car wheels on bicycle. Look how thin they are. That is the funniest thing I've ever seen. Who thought this was a good idea? At least give us like bike wheels. No. We're gonna get actual car wheels and just make them incredibly thin. Like what is that dish on... It's... Ugh. Oh my god, that is the funniest thing I think I've ever seen. What sort of wheels can we put on this? Like this... Oh my god, these, these actually look... These actually look pretty good. Alright. Does it actually change the rear wheel? It does change the rear wheel. It just looks like two of them like stuck together in the back. Do you guys see that? It basically looks like two rims. It's obviously a, just one wheel at the back. But instead of it being like on just on one side, pretty much just a rim like just being on one side, it's on both sides. That is the funniest thing ever. I'm putting the ADV ones on. Oh my god, we could change the wheel size as well. We could go <laughs> We could go bigger as well. N no, we can go in the rear. I'll be able to go a little bit bigger in the rear. We can't see it anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much. What is this thing? Alright, we got some race, race clutch. Race transmission. Brakes. Alright, we can put some massive brakes on this thing. <laughs> oh yeah, let's, let's, <laughs> let's put the sport springs and dampers. Oh, we can't change anything on this thing, so we're pretty much stuck. With the sports setup. I can't, I can't actually change the setup on this thing at all. How much does this weigh now? 1,100 pounds. This is going to be something right here. We could change the turbo. 275 horsepower at an intercooler. We go. <laughs> Why is it still a D-class car? This, this is what I don't understand. Wait, can we actually change the tires? Yeah, we can't change the tire command. I forgot to change that. I was like, why the hell is this still a D-class car? We have like 290 horsepower. And then I just realized that the tires are just absolutely dreadful on this thing. Um, what? Oh, wow. That's, I, that's the, the texture just changes on the... The normal tire. We are gonna go with some sports tires. Should I? I don't even know which what to go with. 290 horsepower. The car doesn't weigh that much, so we'll try sports tires. This is obviously the first time we're building something like this, so I have no idea what to uh, what I'm gonna experience with this car. <laughs> it's like I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna leave the paint that's on it now because I have checked out the paints on this thing when I ended up buying it. Not really that great, but tuning. We can't do anything in tuning. We could change the transmission just a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and bring this down because we have we have six gears. What's that? 190 miles an hour. We can't do 190 miles an hour. Come on, let's be realistic. 172 miles an hour. What do we have like six gears and like on the chart? It's just they're, they're all just completely off. I don't think we should have changed the the transmission. Actually, yeah, it's fine. All right, we'll keep it at this, which was like, what, 172 miles an hour. Yeah, we can't change anything in the setup. We can change the anti-roll bars just a little bit. Springs, we can't change. Dampers, we can't change. Aero, diff, nothing. We can't change anything. Because there's nothing that we can buy. I, I'm just going to check again, just, just so I can make sure that I'm not retarded and, and like, skipped over something. Drivetrain, all we can change is the clutch transmission. Brakes, all we can change is the front anti-roll bars. Yep, that's pretty much it. We can't change anything else. Alright, so this is pretty much a stock 
sort of ish Morgan three wheeler. Let's try to drift this thing. Hey, Josh, oh, it's running. I've heard a lot of good things about this driver. I think we should try and get them to sign up to your lineup. Welcome back, John. There's an ongoing championship that you're taking part in. Would you like me to set a route to the next? Oh my God, we can't actually drift this thing. Whoa. Okay, okay. Grand. Cool. Alright, well, apparently with this car pack we got a new car in the uh, in the barn find. So that's going to be kind of interesting to see what that is. But, I think we're going to do it at the end of this video. What the hell is this now? It is a bicycle. It's pretty much a bi Why doesn't she have a helmet? I feel like this is pretty unsafe right now. The steering is super, super, super twitchy. It, it it feels right though, like it feels the way it's supposed to feel, like for a three wheeler. Like I don't know why. Like oh my god, <laughs> what the hell is this? Okay, it, it feels super twitchy, like I said. You just scrape off the ground. What the fuck is this? Look at those points! What the hell? We got 119,000 points in the first go on this. Alright. Let's just... Take the picture of these because I kind of need the money. I'm poor at the moment. I think I only have like a couple million. Cough, cough, poor. <clears throat> anyway, what the fuck? 119,000 in this. Y you see, because the, the steering is like so twitchy and it's like super, like, I don't know. It like feels like you can get a lot of angle with this thing just because it's, it's just the way it is. Just because it's like, th it has three wheels. And it just feels like you could save any sort- Yes, I get it, there's a fucking barn find. Stop showing me that. But because it has three wheels, it just feels like you can save anything. Like, you toss this into a corner and it just- Like I said- Oh my god, there's so much traffic. I can't go fast. Or wider. But yeah, it's- It's, uh, it's mad- Whoa. It's mad twitchy. Um. So, it, like, I feel like I can save, uh, like, any sort of slide with this thing. And keep it at whatever angle I want. Why is this so easy to slide? It's, look, like, it's just so good. I'm, like, stuttering right now. It's it's literally such a good, good little drift car. Bike, trike, I don't know what the fuck. What, what am I going to call this thing? It's a three-wheeler. It's not a bicycle. Oh, uh, bicycle, wow. It's not a motorbike. But it has a motorbike engine. It's not a car because it doesn't have four wheels. It's not a proper car. Bro. Bruh. Please. I get it. Right. Cool. It's there. Now fuck off. Please. Alright. We'll just set a waypoint there. But this is mad. This is, That was a very bad start to this. I don't know why I like, immediately went to this session. Oh my god. And the gears are perfect. Oh my god, look at all the traffic. It's okay, I can squeeze through. This is funny. This is so funny how good this thing is. That's that's just mad. That is just mental. Alright, well. Hello. There, little op Opal Cadet. I'm gonna go ahead and go try to find this barn find now. With this thing and see what it is. But what the hell? How did we build something like this? Like, seriously. Th like, tr just if you have the car pack. Just try this car out yourself, or whatever the hell this thing is, it's not really a car. Try it out yourself and see, like, just tell me what you guys think of it, because it's it's just mad. It's mad how good this is, because it's so twitchy. Um, obviously when you're not having a lot of angle, but when you do have, like, a decent amount of angle, you can just save it so easily. Like, it just feels like, like you can just save anything with this thing. It's just, it's mad. Just because the, the way, obviously, it's shaped, because there's two wheels at the front and one at the rear. It's obviously a little bit easier to, uh, um... To save like more angle and stuff like that. It's just it it just looks funny, in my opinion. Alright, well let's try to find this barn find here. I don't see what car we get from it, but 
this this little thing that we built here is mad. It's mad. It's so good. All right, let's try to find this thing. Oh, I see something. I see something. Can this be the burn? This is it. We got it. All right, what is it? What care are we going to get from the burn find this time? Aha! Snooze, you lose, whoever you are. Time to open her up. Yeah, it's all right. Oh, nice, nice. It's a sunbeam tiger. This thing has a tiger. under the hood, specked by Carol Shelby himself. Bit dusty, rust on the trim, but otherwise it looks pretty good to me. All right. Well, look at a dusty little sunbeam tiger. That's pretty much it. If you guys want to find it yourself, it's right sha. All right. Well, that's it. Thank you guys again for watching this video. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. I think this was pretty mad. I think the uh, the little build that we had here just turned out to be like just just too good. It's just so funny how well this car turned out to be. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be it. Thank you guys again for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you guys want to see more stuff like this, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. And again, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you click that like button. That's it. I'll talk to you guys next time. Goodbye.